air guitar is not enough, and you're an expert at Guitar Hero, and you want to play real guitar, well, one of the best teachers around is Jen. You can check out her series at mahalo.com slash play guitar. But since it's not about Jen, this is about GarageBand. GarageBand has their own lessons that teach you basic guitar chords. Let's take a look at that. Okay, we got through the intro and a couple chords within the lessons. Um, and they were, they were all right, you know, they were a little boring. They were informative, they did their job. But the next lesson is kind of fun because it, GarageBand kind of turns it into a little game. And that's with the chord trainer. And let's take a look at that and see how it works. Okay. It's pretty much the same layout as well, except, oh, Tim's gone. So now we just have diagrams. So we don't have a cool teacher to teach us stuff. But anyway, if you take a look at this, uh, we have the C chord right here as the main uh, featured chord. And then off to the side, we have a D chord. And if you look at the bottom here, you can see D, G, A, E, so on and so on, um, and it gets into more complicated chords. GarageBand actually kind of works like a game. The only way you can go through this lesson is if you plug in your guitar and play it. And GarageBand reads what chord you're playing and will signal you if you're playing it correctly or incorrectly. And it won't let you move on to the next chord until you played it correctly. So that's kind of cool. It, it kind of gets you engaged into the program and uh, the lesson aspect of it. So I think that's pretty cool. I'm, I'm going to try and go through a couple of them. Uh, hopefully I can, I can <laughs> uh, beat this game or at least get through a couple. But uh, let's start with the C chord. Sweet. Moving on to D. Nice. Now G. Yeah. Okay, now A chord. Sweet. Moving along just fine. E chord. Sweet. All right, now C7. I don't really play C7 too often, so it's kind of a, a weird, slightly weird chord. Anyway. Sweet. Got it down first try. G7. Like a G6, but one more. Boom. D7. Oh, I love D7. That's a good chord. Oh, come on, Garage Band. I got that one right. Really? Let's try that one more time. There we go. A7. That one's pretty easy. Sweet. E7. I love E7. Alright, C major is even easier. D major. Oh. Sweet. G major 7. That one's pretty easy. That's actually a sweet chord. I'm going to use that in songs. Alright, now A major 7. Ooh, that's a fun chord. Now E major 7. Ooh, I don't really ever use this chord, so that's kind of a funky one. Yeah, that didn't sound right. That one's a funky one, but we did it! I did it in a minute and 49. That's kind of cool that GarageBand allows us to uh, time us. So as we get better with chords and knowing them, we can challenge, or you can challenge yourself and try and beat your own time, and that, at the same time, allows you to get a lot better at guitar chords. So there you go, have fun with that one. That one's really, really a cool, cool lesson within GarageBand.